Okay, let's go for uh, another five minute game against Yon 606. Uh, don't know who that is, obviously. So we're going to go e5, uh, e4, e5, and uh, we're going to go for the old Rui Lopez. Try and, trying to play relatively classical chess so far today, at the very least. And uh, obviously here there are a lot of options for for black, uh, ranging from more aggressive with b5 or bishop c5 or knight e4 to more solid as as he plays with uh, bishop e7. Rook e1, b5. Yeah, these lines have been been discussed for um, over a hundred years at the very least. That's at the highest level. Now again, number of options for, for black here. My favorite for many years was knight b8, um, and then knight bd7, the Breyer system. Also uh, bishop b7 and then rook e8. The sides of system is very popular, uh, as well as knight to a5, the Chigurin system. They all have um, different advantages and drawbacks. Um, yeah. This one I'm not that sure about. With rook e8. There, there is a line where you go knight d7, but I think you usually wait for knight b2, bd2, because here... I get to develop the knight to c3, and I think that should be an advantage for, for me. Usually, yeah, usually in the Rue Lopez, you, you develop the knight to, to d2. But that is mostly because you're not allowed to put the knight on c3 in, in one go. Um, g6 is very reasonable. Um, Preparing a possible bishop f8 um, and bishop g7, rerouting that bishop, and also closing the diagonal of my bishop on c2. I think I may just take the chance, though, to go bishop h6 in one go. And after bishop f8, um, I do feel as though the weakened dark squares may become uh, a serious serious issue for him so i'm gonna go queen d2 develop and now if um yeah if uh, knight c4 there was queen h6 also i think after b4 there was knight d5 which should be favorable for me um now i do have a bit of a decision to make though e5 is tempting um because of the tactic d5 uh, d5 bishop f3 i can take on f6 or queen d8 and then take on f6 with check taking the bishop later on f3 winning winning a full piece um the question is if he goes for something like knight h5 is that really favorable to me i don't know but it's it's kind of tempting so we'll we'll see probably d5 and then knight h5 is good now that I think about it. Yeah. This was um uh yeah, this was probably probably not not quite correct. But at least he's um he set some some concrete uh, challenges. Um, wow, knight d5 is actually a very nice move. If, and this is a big if, if he sees the point. So knight d5 would look like he's just winning a piece because the knight on a5 is hanging. But he has this very nice intermediate move 
knight c4 attacking attacking my queen um after which he'll take back the knight later on and uh, additionally he will um he will get a very nice outpost for the bishop on d5 as well as improving the knight on a5 which was on the edge so i'm not really sure if that is favorable for me uh, at all i do have other options like b3 maybe um restricting the knight on a5 or also bishop to e4 um i think i'm gonna um, gonna play b3 um to um probably keep as as much tension as possible and try and induce um induce a, a mistake here for instance now i think c5 which looks very logical maybe a huge mistake because of knight e4 uh then if d5 i think knight c5 is good and if cd4 knight d6 is very good and his position will probably collapse so it turns out uh since he uh did not respond to this threat uh probably the knight, move knight d5 on the last move was more lucky than good sorry to say uh, and now um he will have bishop f3 somewhat ruining my my king side uh but it is nowhere near enough and after after knight e5 now i can meet queen g5 very comfortably with bishop e4 and there are just no chances for him uh, bishop b6 is a decent move but now bishop e4 is quite unpleasant um e i'm going to win i think even more material um either either one more pawn as in this instance with c7 hanging and now d4 is not hanging because of queen takes f7 um or there were also in other lines the pawn in a6 was hanging for instance if he moves his his rook and um now again i think we have the old mopping up job queen e7 looks decent now if rook e8 if he keeps chasing i will go queen queen c5 offering a queen trade under i think quite favorable circumstances as i would get a pass pawn and after he moves this queen i can just um yeah queen d4 is probably even better knight c6 was also nice um after queen g4 there should be a decisive sorry queen c7 there should be a decisive discovered check probably knight g4 it's reasonable this um now he may not be mated immediately because he has f6 but at the very least he loses his queen and now there's mating one okay uh interesting uh, interesting game there um i think my opponent's play was reasonable there um it, it was just one tactic that was missed with which lost him which lost him the knights 